In February, the Homeless Alliance point in time count clocked just over 1300 people experiencing homelessness in Oklahoma City. 35% living completely outside. In recent weeks, those encampments turning into crime scenes. Brittany Toulis has more. In the last two weeks, two unsheltered people have been killed. Their bodies found inside encampment tents. An entire community on a street corner. They are one of the more visible signs of homelessness in our community. Encampments and the unsheltered homeless making up more than a third of the OKC housing insecure. Megan Mueller says that number fluctuates with more people on the streets at the ends of the month when things like social security checks run dry. Living outdoors can be dangerous, right? You don't have a door to lock um, when, when you go to bed. Your risk of being the victim of the crime, that, that also is potentially increased. In the last two weeks, Oklahoma City Police have seen two unsheltered people killed in encampments. The first on Saturday the 21st near Southwest 24th and Brookline. Police say Tony Ivers shot and killed another person trying to get into his tent. The second happening Saturday morning near Northwestern and the Kilpatrick. Disturbance or a, a disagreement over a, a dog uh, that was jointly owned by the victim and one of the suspects. Police arresting both James Gillory and Sierra McCoy Griffin for Saturday's killing. The two different crimes aren't related, but the victims remain nameless. Unfortunately, you know, it's really sad, but that does happen sometimes where emergencies happen um, and there's not, you know, known next of kin. Megan says the people they serve are more than clients. They're part of their community. This was someone's mm -hmm. mother, father, sister, brother, um, and this person was important. And, and so we try to remember and acknowledge that. If you do notice any encampments or people you think could use some help, there's a form to fill out on the Homeless Alliance website for resources. I'll put that in the News 9 app. At Police Headquarters, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.